Hey guys, Alec here. Welcome to Sencha Cinema. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to Sencha Cinema Society. I have no idea what this game is about. Oh, that's how it's like a pointing click. A, not pointing click. It's like a dating sim, I think, but it's not really a dating sim. It's like something like that. But anyways, let's just start. Why is this so pixelated? Here I am, my old my old school. What? Uh, okay, let's. Uh, here I am, my old school blew up in a fiery frenzy due to a student who thought it was a good idea to blow up the school because they didn't want to take the history exam. How's that for an opener? But the story is more complicated than that. But it's not that I helped her or anything. What? Four of my friends were supposed to come to the school with me, but most of the parents were against me coming to Sencha High. Something about, about some diseases or odd behaviors like jumping off a roof, stuffing the hands of vending machines, and situations deal with school dances and maxes. Hmm. Sounds like a typical Tuesday. But those are all rumors. Rumors that were told to me in extreme detail. But they're just rumors. No kid likes to tell a good story about a school and think... And I think my friends were trying to convince my parents not to bring me here. But here I am. It was cheaper and it's also really far away. So I'm living with my grandparents. They live near the school and they are kind to me. They pay me 4,000 yen just to mow the lawn. Quick Google search time. How much is 4,000 yen? $35 to mow the lawn? Pretty good. They got really mad when I refused to take the money, which is great. But the smell of crusty socks, old newspaper, and overscented perfume is forgetting to me. I really hope that this isn't permanent. Crap. I overslept. Why didn't I take the alarm? Why didn't the alarm call? My alarm was I flipped over to see no batteries in it. Yep, that's nice. What a great first impression to give to my teacher at the new school. For my blank nope hooks and pens. Sorry. Yes, no pencils. I live. I like to live on the edge. What? I also grab my backpack with the camera. I would like to be a filmmaker someday, so I try to practice as much as I can without burning out. The areas around here can make some really good B roll roll shots. B roll roll shots. Okay. I can sell online for big cash. Wee wee, big cash. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Please don't let be the school bell. I raced to my first class. Like I was gonna fall right at how fast I'm going. You're late! Uh oh, you're the new student. You're for that school that had an accident. Why are you why are you asking, why are you saying it like that? Don't talk back! Just take your seat! Okay. I can I barely could keep up with how fast the teacher's talking. Luckily, my camera has a crappy microphone built in. I can actually turn it on without looking and I'm trying to film other students. Rather than not catch me to think I'm filming people on, on the first day, let alone, let alone any day. Why would you do that? I quickly get my stuff together to power talk through the hall. Power walk? I think you mean power walk through the hallway in my next class. No, I'm gonna be. I'm preparing myself to hear the bounce and the possible breaking of glass in my lens. That cost me years worth of working part time at the bowling alley. The clash of the camera is probably gonna bring back sounds of bowling pins being knocked down. I heard the camera hit the ground, so I finally fell on back. Please, camera gods, don't take my camera away from me. Eh. Uh, your eyes are creeping me out. <laughs> don't. I don't. Oh, I'm so sorry. They both stand. <laughs> she fixes her uniform and hands me my camera. She's doing that weird hiccup sniff to hide her tears. Like what? <laughs> sorry, I didn't think we hit hard. They hit that hard, but that's not something I'm, I'm doing to her tell her. Are you alright? Sniff. I'll survive. Her emotion stinks. 
180. State takes 180 when she sees my equipment. That's a nice looking camera. Thanks. She examines the camera she's trying to praise for an auction. A tiny double D with an old mix in with a 200 millimeter prime lens. What are you going to creep on some people that about uh, are you gonna creep on some people by how the falcon like the guy is no no i got as a gift from my grandfather he used to work as a manager as a major i'm i'm, I'm sorry major nature mag magazine and gave me some of his stuff and when he retired so i did <laughs> you don't believe me do you not at all. Listen, I'm just trying to make some simple nature films while I'm here. Like documentaries without any words or editing. <laughs> Even though it's the truth, she has every right to think I would use this lens to film people from afar like a weirdo. The lens is a little old, but it cost him about 6,000 yen at the time. I'm very jealous. I would to use that lens. Do you think you can borrow it today? I'll let you borrow it if you want. Well, that'd be great! Thank you, thank you. Mouse Gas, who are you exactly? Oh my! It looks like I didn't even introduce myself! My name is Tatsuyu! I actually have recently started a cinema club that starts after school! Why does every. every freaking school simulator I go to, there's always a club? Whatever. You should come! I don't know, I just got here. And the timing of all this happening is a bit freaky. I don't feel co Why is her hand not completed? Whatever. I don't feel comfortable with much yet. Nonsense! Oh my god! Takes my hand right to the room under her palm. So I just gave you my name. So, what's your name? Go on, tell her your name. What? Oh. Let's just go with Dingasaru. Rui. Raru. Okay, Dingasaru. Be in room 7 1 after school today. At 350 sharp. Can't wait for the other members to meet you. I look at my paw but try not to close it since I sweat easily. Ew. And meeting someone this attractive this soon is very exciting for me. That's weird, but okay. I don't want to be shallow, but currently I am. I'm so sorry for making you late. I could use you as an excuse, why? They understand if I if I say I was helping the new slow kid. Thanks. I'm going to believe that she means physically, not mentally. This school is so nice to new people. If someone make it to class in time, the rest of the day goes pretty smooth. Try to focus on the class, but I'm excited to see Tetsu again meeting new members of Cinema Club. I don't know what to expect the other members will be like. In the art, she gets all sorts of odd characters. That's not all bad. I just want to talk about my feelings and have a deep conversations about trees. I'm almost too lucky to find a place that fits this quickly. Alright. Can I see through all, all of biology? I don't think the teacher noticed. I do I do a nice power walk. You corrected it. Out of the classroom and try to hide with a crowd of people all leaving at once. Okay, here it is. Room 71. Here we go. Hey, diggers around. Seems so that you came. She wants and hugs me hard. It becomes almost painful. But I'm a man, and a man can't get hurt by a hug. I'm not being mad, then. So, this is the one you were talking about? This is Zuru. She's a bit of the moody side. But she'll run up to you eventually. <laughs> what? I, I didn't remember her voice. Oh, ma. Doubt it. Welcome to Gatsuru. My name is Okumi. I'm so glad we can have a new member. A transfer student's don't ask. Do you still have some shell shock from your school's incident? Honestly, once we get outside the school, it's pretty much cool to watch. I mean, it's meaning 
people so early making you stressed? No, not at all. Making new friends so early is helping a lot, Akumi. Good. Oh, 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 oh! My turn, my turn! I want to do myself next! My name is Nagi. No, there we go. My name is Nagi. It actually means calm. I didn't think I'd put myself otherwise. I might as well choose Sonic, that really hurts my voice. Now you find yourself an ability to light up the room. And then takes light and makes it so bright that you can't stay in the same room as far too long. Mean. Hey, where's all of this? No way we're letting him in. Hey! I don't want this guy in. <sighs> what the hell is that name? <laughs> you should be grateful Tatsu let you in. He's no filmmaker. He's just a transfer with an expensive camera. I bet he's never made a film in his life. Sure he has. Dixaru's made many films before. Right, Dixaru? You know there's more room. Oh. You know there's more room in this room. I can smell your wet, stale breath from here, Doko. I should probably show them the latest film I worked on so I don't seem like a fraud. Hey! We're in a thought here, Dickazaru! What would you say if your favorite genre? If you had a gun up to your head and had a few? Make your favorite out of these choices. Okay. We don't have the budget to list all genres. Um. Comedy's cool, but I like horror. What's your favorite subgenre? What's your favorite subgenre of it? I love the physical horror stuff. Those films that let you into characters is it's just doomed and you have to figure out what how they're gonna die. I haven't gotten blown away from a while, but did you see the one hard shell slasher when they That's Toaster Girl came to That Toaster Girl came into the house? Yeah! She wasn't like full scary, but it just kinda came out of nowhere. Sorry to spoil that part, but I don't think any of you were going to watch it. Never seen you this happy, Ruru. Dagazio, hand me the camera! <laughs> I actually have the latest projects done if you want to see one. Would love to. Sure. Yes, 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 yes! If you, if you can, that would be great. Way too crowded. Plus, it will shut up, Doku. I can hear you. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, Hannah. I did not expect this. <laughs> Where is that man? Dave Knight, we're playing Yatsu. Well, he got arrested. By what? But I got someone even better for tonight. Well, what about Justin? A drifter. A drifter? I'm Andy. Look, he even has a name. <laughs> Look, he even has a name. <laughs> she didn't really mean that. So you brought this smelly guy to come. Sorry. Doesn't change the fact that you smell. Oh, come on. We need at least three players for Yatsu to be fun. Plus, he'll be like a wild card in this. Who knows? He could be the best Yatsu player and he doesn't even know it. Andy? I served in World War II. See? He's also a veteran. It's our duty as Americans. We're Americans? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How old are you? 37. World War II was like 80 years ago. There's no way you could be. Listen, I know my friend Hannah here that? has been a bit cranky, but will you tell us the story? Yes. That seals the deal. The what oh. story? No, no, not now. Hannah, come on, let him play. That was interesting. That was great, Dingsy Hero. Dingus Hero? Really weird, Dingsy Hero. I like it. Makes me want to start coming up with weird ideas myself. But, like the clouds are being held up by strings and they were in some kind of large diorama. That's cool. I like that. Or a small flat earthers documentary on people who think the world is flat. See, that's a smart idea. How come no one has done that? No one has done a flat earther documentary. It's stupid. <laughs> it's really stupid. But it's a good idea. I came at last. <laughs> I could tell she made up a diorama line off the top of her head. 
that make her writing process easier to handle. It's not flat, dummy! I mean, I never thought of it that way before. Daggy, come on! We all know you're the goo, but you're smarter than that. No, no, Daggy, you're right. Clouds are really held up by love and sparkles. I knew it! Croup signs while I chuckle. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I walk with my head up today. Just don't stare at the sun. Your eyes are basically the best camera lenses out here. Oh, fishing my senses already, Dunksy. Why keep saying Dunksy heroes? Not stop that at all. Dinkus hero. Fishing? Yeah. That's not what you said. What did I say? Fishing. <laughs> we'll see what happens. What? <laughs> what is this? Ah! I swear, if we don't spread out, I'd start filling my arms around and get some personal space. Well, I thought the film was terrible. Who, who the asks you? <laughs> Dr. Hunter, you, sh you should really, you shouldn't criticize without giving any reason why you, why you are. Okay, I'm out. I'm gonna go home and finally breathe some fresh air from all this overperfumed and arms, underarm sweat. Okay, you have the right opinion, Doku, but his film was very well done. Thanks, Okumi. Okumi and my eyes locked for long enough to notice that we are looking at each other longer than normal people. Then I turned to see Tatsu and her eyes locked on me. We all decided to look away from each other and look at the same two magnets. What is happening? That film didn't make any sense! Sometimes films don't need a substance. They can just be filmed for film's sake. Right, Tinkasuru? Yeah, some films makers even make films. That's true. They're extremely complex to make viewers try to think what the movie is really about. They would just put a bunch of random stuff together and see how people react to it. I like doing that sometimes. Even if it's a little scary. So, don't you I would... So, don't you I would talk because... Tatsu stops herself. Because why? Because you never showed your films yet. Okay, fine. I've never the film in my life. Gasp! Who knew? I just joined it because of the tale. And I've gotten to some if it wasn't for a meddling kid. So, so you never made a film? I've watched some. But you never made one. Whatever. I'm done with this stupid club, Diggs and Rio. I've had it. Go along with these ditzy broads. I feel that's a bad thing. I'm gonna go back to taking care of my chickens. What? Animal. What a jerk. Glad he's gone. Hey, you're back, Aru. There's enough room back here, so it smells slightly of sweat perfume now. Why does he have to be so mean? Maggie, he wasn't trying to hurt you individually. He was just abducting us of pieces of meat and not people. What? So I just take it as a compliment? So, how has this club been going? Actually, the club's a new thing that the school is trying. Having clubs is new to your school? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is why we're a small group of groups and since clubs are such a new and exciting concept of us. We never hear it. The other schools are trying to do similar. In the future. Are they serious? You serious? <laughs> so what do you guys do after school last year? Just hang out with friends or go to people's houses? Yes. Yes, we would do things like that. Sports was another thing people did, which kind of brought friends together. But our big thing was to be... We had chicken fights after school. What the hell? But the new culture of... The new culture is frowned upon such par parties, practices. But I know there's still clubs that do it in secret. It's impossible for them to accept for us to stop the tradition so abruptly. We couldn't even take you to one if you... For one while or they're still out at school. I'm actually okay for now. Suit yourself. 
college chicken fight. So what about you guys? What about what? You guys' films. I would love to see them. For some reason, the girls look embarrassed and guilty. We, um, no one has ever made a film before. But this is at Cinema Club. Or Cinema Stuff. Tatsu, you see all, all my camera. I knew everything about it. I've read some books, but I've never put it in practice. I made this club to maybe find enough people to make a really good film. We quickly realized that none of us ever made a film. <laughs> a bit disheartening when we figured that out. Did you own anything besides the camera? I do have some more lenses and a tripod. And that's about it. Shoot. Shoot. I was hoping you were really rich and had more stuff. <laughs> well, this isn't why you invited him into the club. No. Not at all. I pop it to him to find out. Now crash it into him. He's a film enthusiast. How am I not yawning from this? Bumped into. Sure. What? You knew what you're doing. Naggy. I have to agree. Stop doing this, guys. Basically, we just need someone with a camera. We have to... <laughs> we have just mostly just... What? We have just mostly just watch... We mostly just watch film movies, but don't really know how to make them. Kind of embarrassing sounding. Don't be. That's such a relief, Dingus Rio. You shouldn't feel nervous around me. All of you guys are very sweet and looking forward to part of the club. And I'm not happy now. Let's call the day and the meeting is success. I have my eyes on the VHS and in the thrift store. I think it might help to glue to this club. You go to the thrift store? It's a great place with the great prices. And I'm the couple owner store, so it's nice to help my local business. Aren't you Mrs. Charity? Aren't you Mrs. Charity? So I turned to my folder uh, to go to my backpack without bending all the pages. I hate bent pages. Thought I heard someone. School's finally... Weird. School's finally out, and the first day of our film club starts. It's looking pretty bright out. It's a perfect start for a school year. Okay. Time for some video games and pass down the controller still in hand. Sounds like a plan to me. Oh yeah, it's 1998. Why did I, why did I not think it is? There you are. We were worried that you weren't going to come back. There it is. Like we scared you somehow. No, not at all. Not scared just yet. I don't think girls will understand the stress guys have to go through just to talk with them first. Maybe they do just get a kick out of it. I forgot. You owe me a pep tat from the vending machine for the bet. From that bet. What bet? I, I bet you you're going to bail. Congrats. I'm out of some cash because of you, Doug Zorio. I want peach pear flavor. Peach pear? Peach pear? Peach pear? Really? Aww. Uh -huh. That's gross. Don't care. So, Doug Zorio, how did you end up here? Or should I say, what happened to your last school? I should really think about... I should really think anything bad happened. But when someone transferred to school in the spring... What are you trying to say? Did you do anything bad to get expelled? Or did your parents move? Neither. Oh dear. This... This sounds juicy! But you don't have to tell laws. But we're like the only people you know. I feel it'd be nice to give us a little background of yourself. Guess I'll start the slideshow. What slideshow? So okay, so I came to crappy school in the city. The school, the oh, the school, the walls are cold. Some so people made themselves warm by pranks and goofs. Not all of the school was getting dumb, and my parents were going to pull me out. Luckily, the school board made a decision for us. Actual footage. April 11th, 1986. 11.07 a.m. on a Friday. 
No, did they actually take? Oh my god. I was super. Oh, you too. <laughs> you do look great for someone who just saw my entire freaking school explode. I was also okay. I was also super lucky that the fourth building didn't fall in that group. The school failed to tell the teachers and children the day of the Dalmatia was going to happen. After all the f Jesus Christ, my parents decided to bring me over here. Yeah. We learned that this was a community college, but you guys let me in. Yes, it's a community college. Why would you just segue from that? Why? Go back to college. Yeah, it's a college. A community college. Things might seem as they take place in high school. But that's not the case, Dingzario. It's a college. Community college, in fact. What? Well, it's a no cost. No, that's a no cost in community. Why do you keep telling me it's a college? Because it is, Duxerio! No traps here! No traps here. Traps? No traps. What are traps? Doesn't matter, we don't, we don't have them. You're kind of scaring me. But I just came to the high school. No! Piggy ookie fool! Sounds like next month is Pap Tart. Oh. How many talk like a normal person without a mouthful? You start of going, are you? Good thing. Good thank you, Daggy. Thanks? Let's go around the room and fix these user stuff just to make sure Dexter Real knows all of us. This is weird. This is getting weird. And I guess I'll start here. My name is Tatsu, of course. I'm the only non sports person in my athletic family. I think that was because I was born with a. Campia Curtis, and my family worried about me. What's a Copia Curtis? Ecopia Curtis. Oh my god! Okay, so in Copia Curtis, there's a rare condition where a baby's heart is located either. Partially or totally outside the chest. What the hell? Oh. I'm not reading that. That sounds terrible, Tetsuo. Sounds gross to me. Sounds like both. I'm fine. But I got this gnarly scar if you want to see. Looks like, looks like Tetsuo cut our own words before they come out. Never. Never mind. Looks like I'm next. I'm okay. I want to be part of the environmental sciences one day. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, Looking to help the, help the earth and get rid of the plastics in the water I said. I'm the Aggie. At least you know about me the better. <laughs> I'd rather not talk about myself much. There isn't much there. I bet you're just being modest. I still can't figure her out sometimes. I have to say, it's nice to meet everyone. I'm Dickazero, and I currently don't know what to do in my life. I don't really know. I don't. I don't. I don't. Anyone really truly knows. I don't. I don't think. And I don't think anyone really truly knows. I would be a bit worried if you felt you had to all figure it out. There's. There should always be a bit of you that's confused about where you are and where you're going. You're so deep, Akumi. Each path can lead to disaster for some. Disasters can bring them the best of opportunities! Forces you to think on your feet! Oh jeez, you are sounding like her too. Like trying to get a novel done to get stuck over and over! You can just keep chugging along until that bad boy gets done. So we have to figure out how this club is going to be structured. Don't worry all the Lucy Goosey without a plan Z! Yes. <laughs> I would ask you first, Tetsuo. Tetsuo, but since you're basically the one whom... <laughs> really going to say whom? Flexing that brain of yours? Whatever. Keep going. Sorry. Thanks for letting me continue, Nagi. I do what I can. So, I think we should be the 
Well, at least make one more, make one short film. Or several if you can. It's not brighter on that. Oh, oh sorry. Now it's good. <sighs> I can't say I know the time, said, said uh, what kind of projects and what, how long they will take. Depending on the project, it takes years or about five minutes. Usually people have extremely great ideas, but no budget nor wanting their favorite movie star to be leading character. Such a practicing can be simple as taking a photo off your phone of your friend dancing weird. The point is I am doing you got something done. I can't tell you the number of projects I got. I just got let go because I lost focus of or procrastinated. Or getting some one small project done is better than having twenty have baked projects that you don't follow through. Good ideas or not. And there's nothing wrong with getting back to some older ones eventually. This is the this is the most I ever heard of protagonist talk. While well, still learning about filmmaking. Of course. How are we going to learn about the processes then? Super glad to ask it, Kumi. I was getting to that. <laughs> I was super excited to find this thrift store. That you sets down a huge set of VHS tapes. All labels were cute Logan cheap Logan looking chibi character. It's called Mila's at Homeschool Collection. All the tapes covers looked better than they beat up. But sliding out of the tape show that they weren't used very much. This is part of the reason why I created a club. I couldn't find much info on this online, but I played through the first video it was very good. Each one had the tapes and the kind of themes, so I was thinking much in one of these each time would be we me would be good. Or ex ex mains ex ex mines some of the tapes. So that each tape's about four minutes long. They really flop up with these tapes to overprice them. All of that plastic. Who cares? Each cover's different and super cute. It could be. That have already been some of the best things we could do. And watch them rather than throw it away in the landfill. So, do you guys want to see the first tape? <laughs> Jetsu is putting the first tape inside a small television that has wheels in the classroom. Actually, not really give you a choice on this. Ha <laughs> Here we go. How's this gonna turn out? Ah, oh, this is cute. Hello, everyone. My name is Rose, and welcome to my introductory VHS collection of basic filmmaking. This is the first of eight tapes collections you get to understand the essentials of the video creation from start to end. I first want to thank you for purchasing the set before we continue. Thank you. Now since we have the ways, let's begin. Lesson 1. 1. Part 1 of 2. What do you expect of this course? You will take about everything that goes to the filmmaking process. Like pre-production, the actual process of shooting film, the, and post-production. Both of the physical equipment of the actual cameras, lights, and audio. As well as the gear that improves the shooting process. Wouldn't this be a couple years old? We actually, we are actually not going to talk about the actual physical camera until the fourth lecture. Crazy, I know. For now, let's talk about what goes into filmmaking before the actual shooting day. Lesson one, part two of two, pre-production. First, you need a story. Look at that my ski writing series from her. But just don't try and. Let's just try to make a short, short, short story. Something you can feel could be fully told within five minutes. My have been so huge epic in mind, but don't go for something too big too soon. Most likely you won't finish and or get burned out. And you just get started, you have to give yourself a chance. So set up a short story. Set up in the one location and only use your camera. No extra equipment. Some beautiful films have been made without using anything extra on just a camera. You can even shoot your f on your phone with the new age of phones coming up soon. By this, this video is might be outdated in technology. That's why the story always trump everything else. Great! You wrote down a story that could be shot in every location. Shot locations are very accessible to you and your friends who can act in it. Now you probably have to film the setup in your head on how it look. 
but your eventually bigger crew won't know. This is where storyboards come in. Oh wow, this is actually getting into it. Storyboards are basically the comics that create to show you the shot it should be framed. This is really getting into it. Frames are as in literally how you would frame a picture. I would think so. How much would a certain certain subjects and objects would be the best conveyed using storyboards? Framed as in literally how would you, oh how much why is it repeat? Also you keep ideas in one place and not just bounce it on your head. A great way to add your storyboards is not to give a sketch, but to say what camera shot it is. These are terms to use, depending on how much your project is showing. Subject is showing. We'll be using our intern to convey many ideas we express instead of just text. Some base static shots. Static mean the camera does not move are the established shot. Something's moving. Oh, it's this thing. The full lawn S S L S. The medium mid shot. The medium close up. The close up. The extreme close up. The acronyms are used to storyboard it to save space in the, in the page and easier for the crew to understand without a glance. Each type of shot should be set up with a purpose. So let's go through the shots and understand how they will help tell you the story. This app. Oh. It's what it sounds like it is. It usually gives off the location, time of day, and how small the character is compared to what's supposed to be shown. These are so. These are. So, yeah, 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 you can read this. I'm not reading this anymore. So these. I uh, should quickly understand what the character is. So you're going to shot classroom. How the twins. First shot outside with a way flow. So it's a different school if you're looking for a different type of area. Something similar like this could be fake set with the office in the office. Ugh, what the hell? Okay, I get it. Like, I really... I, I, I understand. But this is, like, too much information. POV shot, which is basically the camera look at the eyes of the character we're looking at. But I don't want you to have too much in your head at once creating your storyboards. The camera moment, camera angles, when you talk to the next lecture, we want to sit or oh, wait, want to wait the storyboard before the lesson starts. I'm not sure. Let's see, work on your script for right now. For the actual camera and how it works, I want you to simply put everything in the audio mode and work from there. We'll talk about the detail of the actual camera later in the lecture. My name is Rose. I'll see you next lesson. You think you can watch the next one? She even said it's her tape. I knew Dixie would like it. Oh, I said that. I knew you could handle the challenge of the video. Pretty much pretty damn easy to follow. Why do you assume Dixie is a girl? Hey, I guess I don't know. Well, I'm not going to try and prove it. I don't come off as looking at a guy. Hey, see you smiling. I'll try to be... Original with making my videos things are real. Oh, don't think you're trying to please me Let okay Let's just make something that either you had in your head or something you could do by yourself Without any sort of crew aside from actors. I plan on shooting in the garden forest near my house I found the nature so beautiful the words can help but aren't needed in mind my mind There's this fantastic forest garden that's open in the public. That's my plan So any idea? Any idea, Aru? No. It'll come. Doubt it. Doubt it. I don't think I'd express myself the way you would want me to. Sometimes the idea is I need to start writing down random words as fast as I can, and eventually they turn to sentences and then ideas. I try that. Tatsu. Any idea? Oh, Tatsu, any idea? I may have one already. Or may I keep it a secret all to myself? I go like to see what you can create. As president, I could do whatever I please. <laughs> Screw you. Fair enough. Just wish you would give a hint. You'll see. On that note, let's call it a day here. Good luck with everyone's projects, and we'll figure out figure out the time next meeting. The first official day is the club is over. 
Hey, Doug's a Rio. Some of us are going to eat together after this. You want to come? It seems an invitation that I can't say no to. But that's not a bad thing. It's nice to have been accepted so early in Trashford School. Sure. Where are we going? Pretzel Palace. The Yoda has a stutter. But it shouldn't affect how the sign was. Never mind. It's the only place in the city that has the best pretzels in town. Oh, I, I was thinking we're going to a stereotype tea room or ice cream parlor. Why would you think that? Because you know stereotypes. I should not be so close-minded. That's right, you shouldn't. We can easily take you to a chicken fight after <laughs> I forgot about the chicken fight. If they were so loud. Of course, we don't need to do those never now never here. Yo you love the pizza the pizza the pretzel palace. You certainly won't regret it. You'll come back again and again and again and again and again. I thought we were going to to that pe that tea place today. See, see, I'm not the bad of the person now. I'm so worried about your weight. Well, stop it. <laughs> yeah, looking for you. The dark colors of my uniform hide the weight. Damn, Nike, that was really mean. Nike, that was horrible. Kumi, wait. It was too late. Kumi already ran off. Some small notebooks fly out of her backpack and slides onto the... Well, the bookshelf's far enough where probably no one could get it. That was so mean, Aggie. What the hell? Um. Oh, we're gonna leave this here. <laughs> I'm. I'm tired. Yes, I want to overrun my save. Well, that was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, talk to you soon. Bye bye.